Hey, 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 what's up, it's your boy G-Trump, you know, and my favorite baby daddy, you know, the voice of the street, man, you know, you know, I'm early, man, trying to chase this crowd, and as y'all say, I'm trying to get to a thousand, y'all, I'm almost there, and I'm getting in there, I'm really getting in there, man, but, you know, I just wanted to take some time to uh, talk to the fellas, man, and give y'all a little advice, man, you know, because, uh, we go through so much, man, that money ain't see. We can't let shit out of our emotions. We hold it in. Trust me, I know. I know how it feels. See, a lot of women don't know how it is. You know, they just so used to shooting my bang, bang, shit, and all that. They don't know how it feels if you go out on a mission and you actually kill a motherfucker. And then you watching it on the news and shit. And don't nobody know who done it. How you might want to keep quiet, but that shit eating you up inside if you ain't really built like that. You know what I mean? That shit eating you up inside, and then start making you act strange and do little things, and then sometimes it might even take it to another level where you be thinking, "Fuck it, I can kill another motherfucker. I can kill another motherfucker." Before you know it, you're doing it too much, and then now you got four bodies and uh. Only three of them was worth something. The other two, you just whacked the motherfucker for nothing. People don't understand that they ain't never been there. You know, they say, um, if you keep doing the same thing and expecting different results, you are insane. That is the definition of insanity from what I hear. Right, so, you know, I want to advise all the guys, let's just try to do something different today. You know, it was Mother's Day yesterday, man. I hope y'all took care of y'all mothers and then try to take care of your baby's mothers because y'all will realize how special them baby mothers are to you. You know, and you you will get it just like I uh, got it. You know, it took a long time for me to get it. My baby's mama I always treated them good and kicked them down with a little dough and shit, but I come and go didn't get a lot of time to spend with them, you know what I mean, and then, you know, one of them is uh, married and doing what she doing, the other one, she's still single and uh, uh, on her own doing what she do, you know, and me and her start fucking back around, and I damn near fell in love with her, you know, and, that, and like, I wait 25 years to want to fall in love, you know what I mean, so, uh, and she be laughing at it and thinking it's joking. She, now I don't be playing. I be dead ass serious. She think I just, oh, BD, you just in your feeling? Okay, okay, okay. But one, one thing, like I told her, when I back up off your ass, you're going to know when I don't love you. You act like you don't know I love you now, you're going to know when I don't. So, but anyway, I would suggest you guys try to do something different, man. Like I said, if you wasn't getting along with your kids, try. Because, you know, those fathers need to be in these kids' lives. We really need to be in their lives. So, you know, I want to encourage everybody to do something. If you was doing something one way, I want you to take everything you was doing, especially if it ain't working. Now, if you got a good job going to work, you there on time back home and no problems at home, this ain't for you. This for people who life in the shambles, they live in house to house, they don't know where they go eat at. It's just a struggle. He he stay at this chick house three days, getting dinner can store at the other chick house two days. Not cause he a player, because he don't have nowhere to go. It's a lot of time women think you be trying to be a player and then the nigga might be just fucked up. Lady, sometime ask him. You be going stand at that bitch house why? Do you have your own house? Just ask him. Just flat out and ask him. And see what he tell you, ladies. You know? It be a lot going on in the mind of a motherfucker. It is not easy to whack a motherfucker and keep it on your conscience. And it's not easy. And if you live in Chicago, you know 90% of the motherfucker niggas out here plug we didn't have to put in work. You know what I mean? You ain't nobody if you ain't put in no work. When niggas not fucking with you and you moving around the street, this is a nigga that they put in work. People know that. And they leave you the fuck alone. You know? They leave you the fuck alone. You know? So, uh, that's all I want to say, man. It's, it's good morning. I'm up early. I got some shit I want to do, so I'll say I'm up early. Let me make this quick little video while I chance. You know why I got a chance, you know. And, um, 
you know, money is changing now, guys. This here, let me show you. This little money right here. This little shit here. That's going to be nothing. This is where the money finna be at, y'all, right here. This is a, one of my regular bank accounts. All right. This is a, another credit card they send me. Uh, I order all my clothes and shit online, mics, computers, and things like that. Because sometimes I don't trust them. Don't trust them with your main information. Get you a backup card. This is here is a cash out card. This is where the money comes from. The teeth. Uh, the proceeds come from T Springer and YouTube pay me through this cash app card right here. This is another bank account of mine, personal. I put my money in this from the job, and this that's me here. And last but not least, I won't even say last, it's, it's a Vimo card. This is good for the internet because it's damn near built from the internet. You can move money all around to people you know on the internet. and. They will get it safely and it's no problem. This is the last one. This is PayPal. You know, you're going to need that too because uh, when you dealing with these YouTube channels or whatever, all of them, you got to have cash out or PayPal. You got to have one or the other. They're not going to be trying to track you down and to pay you. You got to be there. And, uh, you know, I, I keep these motherfuckers in my pocket, y'all. Uh, every day I go to the store, I just check it. You know, I do it all the time. I put it in ATMC and put forty dollars. And a lot of times, it's and I'm be like, damn, where this motherfucker come from? The motherfucker might have sold a cup. You know, y'all, y'all know if y'all be laughing. I don't know how y'all feel because I don't be saying y'all. You know, I don't know if y'all sitting back laughing at my little clothing line like it ain't nothing, you know. Oh, this shit, he just made this. Oh, y'all don't know. This shit's selling, y'all, you know. That shit's selling. I ain't sitting in this motherfucking room getting extra fly shit for y'all for nothing, man. I ain't dressed up for nothing, man. Oh, look at this. I got on all blue, man. You know, I, I threw that green in there, man. This, you know, this, this, this representing my daddy, man. This was one of my daddy outfits for, so I wore this for him. You know what I mean? Rest in peace to my, my daddy, Dick and Jewett. Mm, I love you so much, pops. I miss you. You know, I can't believe y'all how much I miss my daddy, man. I'm, I'm 49 years old. It's my first year without my father. My first. Year I have not had a daddy, and uh, it's just and my God, my mother she's doing much better, y'all. She's strong, she's kicking back, she's doing real good. I'm so glad of that, and I'm so proud of my brothers, man. Both of them, Boney and Obi, they've been helping me and holding it down, making it a lot easier. They've been trying to make sure I'm all right. As long as I ain't doing no crazy shit, you know, I'm sitting here trying to concentrate in my videos. And they, 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 they like, all right, as long as they can see what I'm doing. Because Obi always loved his little brother. He just don't want the worst for me. He wants the best for me. He don't want me getting in no trouble. So when I'm doing too much, he get on my ass. And, and I don't like that. I don't like him not to get on my ass, you know. But whenever he get on my ass, I, I straighten up. You know what I mean? I straighten up. And this ain't got nothing to do with no gang shit. That's big brother, little brother shit. You know what I mean? So that's no gang shit. Me being a journal don't mean shit to him. I'm his little brother, goddammit. You know? So, you know, the family be doing good to try to stick together, man. You know they've been trying to help guide me. And, um... Uh, like I said, for, for y'all who want to know what's going on in the future, man, this channel is going to get so big, y'all, it's not going to believe it. It's already slipping away. I can't even keep keep up with some of the comments. I used to read a lot of the comments, man. And, phew, man, so, the motherfucker getting so mad. I take a whole day reading that shit, man. You know, I just got my first hate mail the other day. I told you, the nigga said something slick. It wasn't hate. He just thought he caught me in a lie. And it wasn't even a lie. It was just his comp level of competency. He didn't comprehend what he was listening to, you know. And you know, I forgive him, man. As long as he subscribe, I don't care. You know, keep subscribing, man. Try to find out every motherfucking inconsistency in any story I got. Take the whole day and look at the whole catalog. 
Wait till you get monetized so I can get paid for every click your ass click on, you know. What's be a few days, you know. But you know your boy doing good, man. And I had told the ladies I was going to read them a poem. So, fellas, this is not for y'all. This is the poem. See, I told you I'd be doing a lot of shit, y'all. I write movies, books, poems, and all kind of shit that y'all would not believe. When I tell you the G shop, the G motherfucker shop, man, y'all going to figure that out one day, man. Let me take my glasses off so I can see this, man. Ladies, this here is called... A good man. Now, I can't hardly see, so y'all give me a second. It said, when the world is on your back and people don't understand, at least you can count on a good man. When you are trying to put your life back on track, you can always count on a good man to have your back. Sound elementary, but that's what it is, isn't it? They say he he can be he can be a lover he can be a friend he's always there to give you a helping hand ladies remember that he keeps you warm on them cold winter night he also stands up for you in the fight he's also there whether you're right or you're wrong he's there okay so ladies treat him well and I hope you understand. That nothing beat the love of a good man. Written by G. Shrimp, Maurice Jouette. You see that? I read that. And this is a whole book of poems right here, ladies. This is a whole book. So some of y'all, y'all bored, and y'all don't want to hear no gangster shit, just type in that. G. Shrimp, read one of your poems. You know, I got a lot of poems in here. You know, a lot of them. You know, that was just one I just wanted to read quick. Because uh, I said I was going to leave it last week, and people, uh, I guess they thought I was bullshitting because I hadn't busted out, you know. When I tell y'all I don't do no lying and shit on this, I don't, you know. I be doing this little shit, y'all trying to stay out of trouble. Like I said, you heard the sister uh, say the other day, well, y'all didn't hear it, you know, but me and her heard it. But she said, I'm when the police used to chase you all over. I'm like, yeah, they, they staying on my ass. I told you they stared on my ass so bad till the bitches followed me to court. Chased me to court, bad motherfuckers. Chased me. Full speed. High speed chase to court. <sighs> had I had a public defender, I'd have been locked up and fucked up, y'all. Because they'd have locked me up, took me to the station, told the police at the courthouse they couldn't make it because they had a suspect there at the arrest. And they would never told them it was me, and then it was just, it would have been just a mess. You know, that's why you got to be a, a thinker when you're out here in these streets, man. And a lot of certain things you need, man. You got to watch how you move and everything. You got to take your life more valuable. Stop just being off these pills and perks and uh, snoozing at the same time. I know you're feeling good, but you still got to do something different. You know, you snooze and just because you feel like you can walk back to your car, you know you got a red Cadillac. Every motherfucker and their mama know it. And every motherfucker and their mama know you fucking this bitch on the corner. So when your car there all night, they know you there. And let's say he got a brother that's a gunslinger, but he got a job or something. When he leave, that makes you even more vulnerable because now they know you in there by yourself with the bro. Then don't be no lame nigga that ain't built like that. Nigga, kick that door down and run in there and kill you and that bitch. You know what I mean? You got to uh, watch what you do. Switch cars and do all kind of things, man. I swear, this shit get real deep. Deep, deep, deep. You know, I had niggas. I went by a chick house and, you know, everybody, they know I kept posting all that. But... They thought they had me trapped in it. It gonna be funny. About 30 niggas sitting, come out and standing in front of the bitch house. They leaning all on my motherfucking car. I look, I said, I know this pussy ass nigga ain't leaning on my car. I'm like, I'm finna shoot him. She like, babe. I said, where that gun at? She I left it in the car. You left it in the car. I'm like, well, go get it. She, no, I can't go get it, Shrimp. No, on that. You can't go get it. I said, okay, don't worry about it. I made a phone call. Hey, Joe. 
G. He like, what's up? These pussy ass niggas down here sitting on my car. Woo. Who? I said, some of these niggas don't know what the fuck on. Man, we on our way, man. Man, I'm finna call. You come right out. So I'm like, yeah, all right. So we timed him. And he said, man, I'm uh, right down the street. From, he said, come out uh, a few seconds early. That way we can pull up on it. Let's see what type of move they go make uh, towards you. Uh. So, you know, I walks out. You know, I'm looking, I'm like, I walk straight to, hey, man, get the fuck off my car, nigga. What the fuck you doing? He finna flex up and them cars start pulling up. <laughs> Niggas jumping out with him. They look like, ooh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm like, get the fuck off my car, bitch. What you doing, nigga? You say, hey, 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 shrimp, I didn't know this is your car. You're a goddamn lie, nigga. So you decide out of all the cars on this block to sit on my shit, nigga? You go sit on the prettiest car on the block. You decide to sit on this motherfucker. Uh, man, Shrimp, I promise you I didn't know that was your car. So I tell you what, boy, you're lucky I didn't like this bitch. And I like her mama. I want to come see her again. But I will put a hole in your ass, nigga. You ever sit on my shit again. They go for every nigga on this block. Matter of fact, when I come on this block from now on, if I see am goddamn disciple, I'm sparking this bitch the whole block for a whole month. So when y'all see me come over here, y'all better clear the block, shut your spot down, shut all that shit down. And I be damn, I had enough juice. Them niggas did it every time they sink me. Oh shit, hey Joe, let's let's go on the next block and tip. They got out my motherfucking way, man. Cause like I said, I wasn't playing with them. I've been a beast, a demon. I've been, I've been that, been that nigga. That's why this shit they doing don't impress me. And, you know, I don't like them doing that, but I can't say nothing because we added to the fire, too, y'all. We made it worse. We didn't do no, We didn't have the situation, so how can I be uh, mad at them for slaying shit and doing this? It's the same shit we was doing. You know it's the same shit we was doing. You know, I damn near feel like Jeff Ford, man, they, and Larry Ruben and them, they didn't expect the mobs to get that damn big. They just got that big on their own. I could see the same shit with my set, man. When y'all hear me telling these stories and I said it was 10 of us, that's how many when we started. It was about that many. We could call and get about 30 when we get a few other niggas from aid and assist, but we was about 10 deep on the daily. Man, I, I have to take a census count on how many storms it is from the Ville now. We peaking every bit at 3,000 over here just on this motherfucker set alone, man. Just this little set alone. One, two, three, four, how many blocks we got? Just them blocks, man. I'm the general, you know what I mean? And I got other little generals under me, and then other little generals under him, and it goes down, 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 it's by seniority. But I'm still the one of the head generals over here. You know what I mean? So I get to tell the general what to do, you know? I don't have to tell him what to do, because I raised him right here intelligent, but I get to give him advice. And if he don't feel right about something, he still will ask me, hey, G, what you think about, who, 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 should we do such, 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 such? Yeah. Yeah, do it. And he's like, all right, all well. And there'll be niggas be on the phone with him, knowing he wasn't sure about something. Man, what the G say? G say, yeah, go on, get out on the ass. And that's what it is, that's what it is, man. So, I hope you guys had a good Mother's Day, man. I really do, man. And uh, I want you to try to enjoy your day and uh, do something positive, y'all. If shit ain't working, uh, you know, at once upon a time, y'all, we getting too old. We got to stop selling drugs, man. You got to find something to do, you know. And this year, I done found me something to do, and I'm doing pretty good at it, y'all. I'm getting to the money. I'm, I'm doing pretty good at it. You know, I'm, I'm investing in myself. I'm going to start taking all the dollars I get invested in myself. That's why I be putting that cash up, up man, and that PayPal. You guys, man, for real, man, if y'all fuck with me, y'all got cash out, man, or whatever. I mean, yeah, cash out, send something to that card, man. $5, $2, $3, $3. it don't matter, man. You know, you like the show, man. You know. I can't stay out of trouble if I ain't got no money, y'all. I can't stay out here if I ain't got no money, man. Ain't nothing worse than a broke motherfucking nigga, man. 
That shit will irk me, man. If my baby mama or my bitch come over here and I can't buy nothing to eat, no cigarettes, nothing, you know. Even the latest movies, and we, we turned our cable off, we rocking DVDs and shit again. I can't even get the latest movies. She be saying, I seen this last time we was over here. And that's a hint, fellas, you know. That's a hint. Yeah, you need to get some new movies. Then they start comparing you to other niggas. The last nigga house I was over, he had everything. He had all the new movies, and you know, when they start comparing you to other niggas, man, and if you fall short, that he can take that bitch from you. Now, I know what you say, if she leaves, she wants yours, yes, she was, yes, she was. She just found something more convenient for her. That's all. Same way with us, we want shit convenient. You know, we fucked with cougars for a reason, because they established, got money, cars, and all that other shit. And uh, some of these other bitches broke on the block waiting on you to come buy them a blunt. And you like, I just got off work. I got to walk 20 blocks to your house, bitch, plus another five to get the weed. Damn, give me time to get there. But had you fucking with that cooler, she'd have been at that L station. Waiting on you, drove you where you need to be. And woo -woo, got all your essentials in hey, Let's go in. You know, I was married to one. I was married to my wife for... Uh, 25, maybe 30 years. I mean, her kid is still close to this day. Still like that. Then I had another woman I fucked with on the side. I fucked with her for 15 years. Me and her kids are like that. I got two sets of stepkids, nigga. Two sets. And both sets of them will kill you about me. We got grandkids and all, and they all will kill you about me. They not playing. They, cause they know I love them, I'ma love them unconditionally. Like y'all hear me talking about that boy Marcus, he, I just put his little video up, he rapping, he's doing pretty good. I hope he can do much better and take his mama out of here and be right on his coat I ain't got to ask him for nothing. I'll be just telling him, hey, hey dad, just want a house in the car, man. You can go and do what you do. Hell, the house too big. I'd be like, well, I'm going with your mama. Fuck it. I'm going to sleep in her room. She ain't got no man yet. Hell, I still love her. She, you know, I, I'll be there. But I am so proud of him, man. He's doing something and he listened to me. Me being in his life just in 15 years, I fathered him. And uh, I was there when he needed the most guidance from like 13 all the way to 20, something like that, to 21, 22 when he started feeling himself and wanting to run with gangs and this and that, and, and he learned early. Hey, y'all walking around 50 deep don't mean shit. When shit jump, 45 of you motherfuckers run, you might as well roll with the five niggas that uh, <laughs> ain't run. And I taught him that, and he, he, he got that through his head. You know, we had a few issues where he wanted me to pull up, and I pulled up, and he went there. I'm like, look, this ain't no game, dog. You know, don't call me to flex just to let a chick know you can get some niggas to pull up. Don't do that. We don't play like that. When we pull up, we ready to spark something, man. Plus, we ride with them real heaters, man, and the motherfucker can go to jail. You know, so don't play like that. Keep it 100, and that's what it's going to be. But, you know, that's all I got to say, man. Um, like I said, I got a little... Um, I got a little something I got to go through today. You know, uh, so I'm finna be gone, man. Uh, what I am finna go do is so I, I need to renew up on... I'm running out of cards, and I need uh, four more of these things made. Uh, also, anybody, man, y'all, people that work, man, y'all worked at these nursing homes. Not nursing homes, these funeral homes. I've been to quite a few funeral homes. And they have a picture of the guy who they deceased. They have the cardboard pictures, and they got them in the poles, and he stands high like that. I want to know where they make them at. I want to get one of them. I want to get a couple of them. I want to put them motherfuckers places where I want to put one at the store, put one at Walgreens, put one at the currency change. You know where when motherfuckers come in, they're going to be like, damn, Joe. 
Got them in Chicago's very own, the G Shrimp, the YouTube channel. Ooh, ooh, they're going to be like, damn. And it's going to have a little slot where you can pull a card out and everything. I'm, man, I'm cold, man. I'm a cold thinker, man. When I get a vision and I get locked in on something, I'm on it. I'm telling y'all, I'm on this shit. I want y'all to know y'all is finna witness greatness right in the front of y'all. Y'all finna witness. Y'all gonna be like, man, I remember that motherfucker I didn't have, but woo woo. People gonna be able to say, I remember the nigga before he was monetized. They just don't know. He finna let a real nigga in the game. They finna let a real nigga in the game, boy. You know, I swear. And I am so happy. And, ladies, if you feel like talking a little shit, some ladies, y'all got to email for this, me for this. It got to be somebody I know, like, okay, I said Nikki, Stacy could do it, uh, Tamara Bowden, one of my sisters, any of the women that ran with me enough, you know, even Lois Patio could do it, uh, you know. I won't say my wife because she she not to get mad because the shit get too deep of the hole and shit get to coming up. She ain't gonna hold her composed. She been to cuss me out and all that shit on TV. Fuck my shit up. You know, she cuss me out, y'all. She, she, 14 years you had that bitch around, Maurice. 14 years you had that bitch. You still fucking with that bitch, Maurice. I know you fucking with that bitch. Talking about you on TV. Talking about you love her, son. And you a killer motherfucker for her, son. Motherfucker. And I'm like, yeah, I, I will, bitch. I, I will. Let somebody fuck with him. I goddamn will. And she know it, and he fucking know it. They know it. He asks his big sister, do they think if somebody put their hands on Marcus, will Shrimp come over here and kill a motherfucker? They gonna be like, please. That's an understatement. I don't give a fuck if I was in jail or if I wasn't there. I will call and make sure some shit got taken care of. Don't fuck with none of my people. My son, my daughter, my women, no motherfucking body. And I don't mean women like we just going together. I mean women we affiliated with that I fuck with. That means that's Sandy, that's Denise, that's LaShonda, that's Sherelle, that's motherfucker Kim, that's Stacy, that's Nikki. Any women I'm associated with that I know that I could call friend, hands off them, you better not touch them. Let me hear about it. And it's going to be a motherfucker problem. Then my new chew town will go blow up because I'm going to kill a motherfucker. And I guarantee, I already planned for this day. I gave my uh, my daughter, baby mom and all of them. See this one, two, three, four, five, six. Like these six cards connected to the internet in different ways. Clothing line, uh, YouTube proceeds, uh, commercial proceeds, all that going into different accounts and shit. All of them got the same pin number and I, I told them. I said, so, so if you in here in my room and I'm dying, you tell them you want the computer and these. That's it. You get that? And you straight. You know how people is. Like Biggie said, you ain't nobody till somebody kill you. So when somebody kill you, the shrimp short take off. Pew! But I want my kids to be eating and benefiting off of it. I don't want no, nobody to get it. I want them to get it. And like I say, fellas, I started this here conversation for y'all. It's time for y'all to get the shit together. If shit ain't working in the drug game, do I'm right. Do something different. Get a job, bro. Because them jobs, they better than I thought they was, man. I, I love working, man. Go on making that check. You know you get paid. You ain't got to worry and fans about it. All you got to do is get up, go to work, do your job, and come on home. I love that life. I just broke my leg, man, uh, twice in the same. Maybe God trying to tell me something. That's where you need to be. Sit your ass down and uh, tell your little stories, man. You know, I got 49 years of them. And you know, some of them I can't tell you, some of them I can. But the ones I can't tell you, I ain't talking about them no way. You know. 
anybody died, I don't know shit about that. That's not a uh, that's not a conversation you're gonna have on the shrimp show. If the boy died, I don't know nothing about that. He didn't die on my watch. You know now, nah, for the other nigga wanna tell you. Uh, oh, no, we did do that shrimp. Just don't want to say that because he got a uh, TV show. I'm going to slap the shit out of him. And then I'm going to be like, well, that's that's his thing. He want to say that. That's what he want to say. He better not say it on here. He better not say it on here. And he better not let me hear about it. Because I'm going to go stump his ass. Boy, I'm going to go stump a mud hole in his ass. Y'all ever heard that saying? I'm going to go stump a mud hole in his ass. I mean it. I ain't just good with these niggas. I'm good with these, boy. I'm tell you, I'm good with these bitches. And I'm good with these motherfuckers. So I'm, I'm, I'm a double threat, nigga. This is not what you want, homie. This is not what you want. A a ask my, uh, ask a few people around about me. Ask goddamn it, Denise. Did I throw the nigga off her porch and beat both of their ass up? Beat the niggas up, threw the nigga down the step, broke his leg, went upstairs, put on my clothes, I had pajamas on. Come back down, I made one phone call. Hey, Mo, he like, yeah, where you at? I'm at the store. I said, get your ass back to the block right now. We got problems. Click. I'm putting on my shit because I'm thinking the nigga I threw down the steps should be up and ready to fight by now. I'm throwing my clothes on and shit. I'm ready now. I come back downstairs. Then go to the door. She's like, wait, babe. I'm like, what? What's what? That's the police out there. I'm like, what? That's the, that's the police out there. Hold on. I'm like, oh, okay. What the fuck they doing now? She's like, I don't know. Somebody called him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe they called for an ambulance because he broke his leg and shit. And then his people come through the next day. Shit get cracking and they said some slick shit to some of my little moles. And Mo said the G don't start problems. If that G threw that nigga off the porch, he had to be doing something to get thrown off the porch, fam. And what did he say that for? Boy, dude swung at my man, boy, and they beat the brakes off that motherfucker. Man, there was so much blood out there, the fire department had to hold the block down. Boy, but them niggas come back with them sticks, boy, I give it to them. They come back with them sticks. But they come back when the police was here. And I'm walking, I said, oh, look at this pussy ass nigga here. Ooh, he first. Put him on the list. Top. Top, man. He, he wildin' for the police to be here. He trying to punk us and uh, play us, you know. He, he know we can't say nothing to him and them people sitting right there. I said, okay. I said, man, before they even move off the block, I'm talking about, I don't give a fuck if you see they turn six on. As soon as they pull off the block, bust his ass. Bust his ass. That nigga was woofing, 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 woofing. When the clock, clock, you couldn't get two off. That motherfucker was at home already. Clock, clock. I'm like, what the fuck did he know? They like, man, see, he hit that hyperspeed. That nigga out of here. That's the old Star Trek ass nigga beam back up to the spaceship, huh? He like, yeah, yeah, G. That motherfucker got up out of here. He know you were from the play with his ass, G. He already knew. I'm like, damn, these niggas real pussy, huh? Yeah, I said, all this shit is for side, huh? huh? He like, yeah, I'm like, oh, okay. That's what it is, okay? But the problem is separate the real niggas from the fake. But if the real niggas stop trying to act like the fake niggas and just keep it real and do what you do, you wouldn't have no problem. Fuck what they do. Do what you do. You know, you don't have to prove to no motherfucker you real or this and that because you got to call this or a certain that, that, that. Now you got to count like on 22 and you ain't got no furniture in your motherfucking house. You a goddamn fool. Even, even if you just bought the house. Man, them 20 shoes, twos come after you take care of the crib. Get that motherfucker comfortable and right for you. Then you floss on your roof. You know, that's how you do that, man. But people go do what they want to do, man. But like I said, I, I encourage all guys, man, to do something nicer, man. Try to be nicer to your woman. Try to be nicer to your baby mamas, man. Try to uh, do better at your job if you're tired of it. If, if you're hustling, try something different, man. Try to get a job. 
you know, and see how that work for you. Because uh, it's not bad as you think, trust me. I have done it, man. And, you know, I just want everybody to have a blessed day. I want y'all to like, subscribe, share this video, and do me a favor, y'all. Go to that cash app. Everybody drop $1 in that cash app, man. Y'all got to start acting like y'all fuck with me. Y'all fuck with me, but y'all just fucking with me, being naughty or seeing what's going on. Stop doing that. This is a business. I'm not here talking to you, motherfucker, because I felt like talking. I got a goddamn telephone. I can do that. I don't go fuck who it is. I can wake a bitch up. Bitch, get up. She's like, what's wrong? Man, you know this motherfucker what? This goddamn shrimp felt like talking. She like, what? Shrimp felt like talking. She up like, baby, what? You shrimp. Right. That's why I say get up. <sighs> Wait a minute, let me get some coffee, man, because something on your mind, you fucking tweaking. Wait a minute. And my phone will get up and see what's wrong. This motherfucker just, I don't know what the fuck he talking to himself in the third party and second party and shit. Something going wrong with this nigga. I got to make sure this nigga ain't cracking up, you know. And you have a conversation and you say, hey, nigga, you know I'm off today. No, I'm going to come get you. You ride with me today because you need to get out the house. Plus, I need to do something to you. You getting loose, I'm gonna have to put this pussy on you to calm your ass down. He be like, can I get it now? No, you go get it after lunch. I'm finna take a shower and get ready. I'm, I'm finna do what I gotta do and I'm coming to you. Yeah, when you get to the first status, man, fellas, and you just fly like the general like this and shit. This ain't even my color, man. When you start dressing fly like the general and shit, man, you know, we ain't going to put them up. Y'all know where they go. But anyway, we ain't going to do that. But y'all know where these go. But anyway, you know, folks already holding up like they dinner time, man. We don't eat dinner with forks, nigga. Fuck that. We eat them with spoons and knives, nigga. Nah. Fuck a fork. That's how we look at it. <laughs> when we be bullshit. But anyway, you know, yeah, man, uh, like I said, most time I get chose, man, but, uh, I want y'all to try to do something different, man. Better your life, man. Do something positive today, man. That's what I want y'all to do. Something positive today. And, you know, that's enough of your time I took up, man, this morning. I'm up feeling real good. I'm going to jump real fly. I'm going to hit the streets and do something, man. I got some shit to do. Uh, I, I just read y'all y'all my poem so that's enough you know i got some other shit to do real real life shit you know uh like go up and get on these people ass and see why my motherfucking taxes ain't hit yet nor my stimulus check and you know in case you don't know bitch i'm still stoned to the bone <laughs> literally stoned to the bone that's what that is you ever want to be fucked with a red combo? Come on by. Only the women I fuck with now. Don't bring no ugly assholes or no bitches that I ain't had no relationships with. You know what I'm talking about. Women that know they can come over here and get the dick. It ain't but a fear of man. Y'all know who y'all is. The women that know they can come over here and get the dick. Bitch, I don't care if you got the roll, camera rolling, and you come over and say, I bet you I can go over there and fuck some. Nah, you can't, bitch, girl. That nigga a celebrity be on TV, bitch. Look, <laughs> I bet you I can fuck shrimp. I've been fucking shrimp a long time, bitch. I'm finna fuck him now. I'm finna tell him I got to go to work, and woo, woo, woo I need him to fuck me real quick. And watch that nigga ease in there and give it to me. And I'm gonna keep the rubber. <laughs> yeah, because you'll get it the fuck out of here. That's what you gonna do. But, you know, yeah, I'm feeling much better, man, you know. My family, we sticking together. We holding it down together, man, you know. Like I just say, man, happy Mother's Day. Uh, I always said thank you, Sherelle Hollis. Thank you, LaShonda Paulson, for both of my kids, man. I love y'all for that. I love y'all for real, you know. My other one, Miss Sherelle is cool. We day one baby mama, but... My second baby mama, oh my God. Whew, I don't know what this chick done done. She got a spell book, but she done fucked me up, y'all. Put a spell on the journal, goddammit. 
25 years she make me then I fall in love 25 years now I'm in love and she ain't she ain't just doing whatever the fuck she want to do you know not in a bad way but I'm just saying she's like yeah I got this nigga right where I want him at mm -hmm. but you let's still go fuck around and wear off baby I think it's wearing off now because uh, you go fuck around and stop getting calls you know, you go fuck around and stop getting mentioned on this Facebook. Once I stop speaking on you on Facebook, it's going to be a wrap. So I already gave her a deadline. I said, man, you need to be over here tomorrow or today. She's supposed to get yesterday or whatever. I don't know, was the day for that? Whatever one, whatever day that I gave her that threat, I was fucking with her. But if she's not here, I'm cutting ties with her ass too. And I mean, uh, just me and my daughter and them. She old enough to, uh, she don't need no mama in the way, no way. So that was just my bonus because I, I love her. I really do love her. And I don't know if she believe it or not. I really do. She got to love somebody that can put up with your shit. You know, she put up with all my shit, all this gang banging shit, man. She put up with it. All the cheating and shit I done, done, she put up with it. She didn't agree with it, but, you know, put up with it. All this other extra creativity I be on, you know. I be drinking the lane and shit, and I be goddamn it, man. She catch me off the lane and shit, you know. She ain't tripping on none of that. She be like, nigga, you my baby daddy, and I fuck with you, nigga. Well, I'ma tell you like you tell me, you my baby mama, and I fucks with you. And you need to get your ass over here. I'm not saying it no more. You better call your motherfucker Uber or, the, or whatever. Lyft, I don't give a fuck if you walk. You better pop up. And if you don't pop up, then that's just what it is. We ain't going to be doing no more talking. Period. Period. Now, having your little cousin that's watching this shit, tell them that. It's your boy D-Shrimp. I'm out of here.